Okay, everybody, I have a presentation for Mr. Carson Gregg right here. Mr. Carson Gregg, you are officially a man. You survived daddy boot camp, uh, moving trees for 15 hours a day, 25,000 pound palm trees to San Jose from St. Helena. We were out in the middle of the night. One night we didn't get home till 1.30 in the morning and we got it done though, right? Yeah. Give me a boom. Carson is turning 18 very soon. He has uh, been admitted to Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, S-L-O, slow. His dad has a good buddy named Rodney Segel <laughs> Segelski. That's a hard one to say. And uh, that owns a brewery down at uh, San Luis Obispo called Slow Brew Beer. Everybody needs to know about this stuff. And Carson, um, this is for you. Let's open this thing up um, and uh, see what's in there. Oh, we need a knife. Honey bunny. Where's the honey bunny? Oh, look, strong boy. Strong boy. I told you he's a man now. If there's beer, if there's beer in a box, he's going to get into it. He's like a bear. He's like a bear getting into a cabin with a bunch of ice cream in the freezer. Bears love ice cream. What's in there? What's in there? Look, there's stickers. You have a cooler? Let's see. I, I, helped, I, I helped Rodney come up with the name. Uh, Tio Rodrigo, Uncle Rodrigo. <laughs> Look, he's got these stickers he can show to all his friends down there. Hey, honey, did you see what person built out there? I know, I see that. That's Cal Poly. Oh, oh, he has a cow poly dive table. Yeah, All right, back on point. What's in the box, Carson? What's in the box? This isn't just any old beer. Look. Ooh. Look at the beautiful it's different awesome. kinds of beer. There's uh, Blood Orange Hefe, India Pale Ale, Tropical IPA, and Mango Hefe. So, Carson, which one of these is your favorite so far? Probably have to be... Whoa. That one. Mustang IPA. Why is that one your favorite? Because I'm a Mustang. Because you're a Mustang. Yeah. Right on. Well, this is for you, bud. Um, and I know that, you know, it's unfortunate that, like, you're old enough to, like, you know, die in a war. And you're definitely old enough to drink beer legally in 1986 in Hawaii. <laughs> and right now in Mexico. But you're not legal to drink this beer for another three or so. I bought this beer so you can just decorate your dorm room with it at school. So you promise me you're not gonna drink any, all right? Oh, uh, definitely not. Okay, good. Um, but also look deeper underneath the beer. There's actually another layer. It's a multi-layered present. Check it out. You pull pull one side up. Maybe we'll have a cut point. We're gonna have a cut point. Oh, yeah. You know what I like about the tropical? This is what we need to serve at Golden Gate Palms. Look at that. Mm. That's my style right there. Yeah. Um, all right, there's a whole nother layer. We're gonna have to cut. Are you ready for the final layer? I am. Carson, real men only drink the beer that's underneath this layer here. Mm. Yeah, it's the kind that dad likes. Oh, 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 it's evil like Tio Rodriguez. Yeah, what's down here? What do you got? Oh, it's a Michelada. Yeah, Michelada. You know what a Michelada is? No, I don't. Yeah, well, you'll have a whole lifetime to figure that out. But <laughs> Michelada is basically like jalapenos and hot sauce and lime and all kinds of stuff you think should never go into a beer, in a beer, and believe it or not, it tastes unbelievably delicious. Uh, and <laughs> and uh, put a little salt on your rim, a little lime on your rim. You want to drink this out of a glass that's uh, very, very cold in the freezer. Uh, there's a couple different kinds here. What is that one called? Um. This is the regular Michelada. There's a couple different kinds. Let's dig them out, dig them out, dig them out. I have a feeling you might not like this stuff. But what's that one? Mango. Wait. That's a mango Michelada. Right? Yeah, that's a mango. That's a regular Michelada. What's this one? Blood orange. Blood orange. Hold it up so the world can see. Blood orange Michelada. Who makes blood orange Micheladas? Only Tio Rodrigo. My buddy Rodney. And uh, that's pretty much the whole story, except that Carson worked for four days straight with his dad under unbelievable conditions. He earned uh, $1,040 total. But uh, here, I'm gonna give him a, I need a camera person, quickly, a camera person. Puffalump, can you hold the camera? Hold the camera, Puffalump. 
Hold the camera. Thank you. All right. Here's payday for Carson. Remember, 10, 1040. I'm getting I was ready. One. Hand over fist. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. And you get a tip. <laughs> $160 tip, 1200 bucks. He is a man. He survived daddy, daddy uh, man camp, and he got the job done. Thank you. And uh, when you guys want to order some beer, you can't go to the store, you don't want to go to the store, you're afraid to go to the store, all you got to do is call my buddy Tio Rodrigo, uh, Rodney Sigelski, and uh, he will send you some beer. Go to slow.com, order this beer. I'll even tell you, there is a coupon code, FRIENDS10, I think it is, get 10% off. So uh, we're gonna dig into this stuff and see what it tastes like right now. Get a big bottom of Micheladas, the top of their uh, samplers, and you'll be set. We're doing the slow beer taste test from the pack that we got in the mail. And uh, what do you think about the first one, Carson? Pretty good. Pretty pretty, you like it? Yeah. All right. And his almost twin brother? Very nice. Yeah. And his lovely girlfriend, Simone. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty good. Yeah. Okay, good. I like it. Cali squeeze. Cali squeeze. When are you going to squeeze? When are you going to squeeze? You can get in trouble for squeezing people. <laughs> Ever since you heard about me too? Oh, stop. Oh, my God. Don't be. Oh, this is. Oh, I get it. It's a blood orange and they squeeze the juice out of it, right? Is that what we're talking about here? All right, slow brew Cali squeeze. It's a little salacious, but I'll take it. Uh, anybody want to give me some feedback? Simone? It's very good, very sweet, my favorite. My favorite too. Sweet, you like it, it's sweet? Yeah, you like it sweet? The girls will like this one. Girls, girls like it sweet? Yeah. Jerry? Carson, I also like it. Okay, all right. I the girls like this one. Is this, this yeah. is like a wine cooler, wine, wine cooler blended with beer? Something like that. That's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. I don't know how much of that I can drink, but it's certainly good. And uh, any, any, any mention from the uh, Cal Poly guy? I like it, it's good. All right. You know what to order when you go to Slow Brew. I'm gonna take your date, your dates there. Uh -huh. Or date. Date or dates or I don't know. I just I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> that was an awkward moment. Sorry. I don't know if your girlfriend's gonna see this or anyway. Let's go to the next beer. Okay. So we are on to brew number three, tropical IPA. And what I love most about it, I love these colors. I'm blue's my favorite color. And I like that almost tropical full of your hibiscus. And but anyway, um, it's all a matter of what it tastes like. What I like about it is the color. It looks like a tropical ocean that you're surfing in. Well, mm, I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully you're not surfing in that ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Got Mama Bear here, now she's in on the deal. Yeah. So what do you think about the beer, Mama Bear? Well, I have to say this one's not my favorite. I don't like ideas. <laughs> yeah, so Rodney's gonna see this. Sorry, Rodney. I really like the orange one though. Oh, you do? Yeah. I'm All right, good. One. You'll be a return that's customer for that one. That's my favorite. Okay, and the and the and the kid that is just sniffing the beer, and not actually <laughs> drinking it because he's only eighteen. So I think this. What is does it smell favorite. like, Carson? I think this this is my favorite. Here. Oh really? Yeah. And what do you like about it? I do just. I think it's kind of light and smooth. I kind of yeah. like it. It has a little bit of sweetness, but not overwhelming su yeah. sweetness, right? Okay. And Simone has lots to say. It's tangy and fresh. Tangy and fresh? Those are good <laughs> words. Those are better than what I could come up with. All right, Jerry Bear. What you... Hoppy, but not too hoppy. Hoppy, but not too hoppy. Hmm, I like that. All right, so we have one more, right? Coming up, a mango. Well, yeah. what do you think of it? Oh, well, I think it's great. No, I think it's like light and smooth and uh, mellow. It says it's a little sweet, but it's not nearly sweet as the mango. The mango is kind of good, but it's, or no, no, the blood orange. We had blood orange. The blood orange is pretty good. It's just a little sweet for me, mm -hmm. uh, but this is 
kind of sweet without being overpoweringly sweet. All right, now it's time for, ooh, that's another squeeze. Last but not least, Jer Bear is going to tell you about mango. What do you think, Jer Bear? It's a beautiful color. It is a beautiful color. And, but there's more than the color. It's really good. I don't know if I've ever had a mango beer before, but I like it. Hmm, okay. You should fix your hair better before the videos. There's a big hair. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Uh, anyway, okay, so Simone, uh, what were you thinking about that one? Wait, wait, for, you, you said it was a, you said, it, I'm sorry, you really said it was a dessert beer, right? Oh, I was thinking, yeah. It's kind of, almost second that. Oh. I said that. All right, we'll get to you in a minute. <laughs> Simone, what'd you think about mango? Um, I feel like I'm on a tropical island. <laughs> You're on a tropical island. I guess that's probably the idea. All right, and um, you were saying about a dessert beer. Yeah, I, I like it. It's, it's a sweet, it's kind of like a dessert beer, and there's like a, it's very pineapple. Pineapple-y? Pineapple-y. Is pineapple that a word? Not so much mango -y, but pineapple -y. Okay. Especially if it smells pineapple -y, which is kind of, kind of cool. Is that a Never word? Is that a this. word you could say 10 times in a row real fast with a buzz? I don't believe pineapple. No. <laughs> okay. All right. And it's not a word you Move on. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> moving right along to the kid that smelled it. Yeah. What did it smell like to you? It, it smelled. I actually really like. It smelled. Yeah. Smelt it. You smelt. That's a. That's I a. Smelled that's a. It. The smell. Is it smelled or smelt? Smelled. <laughs> Sm you, smelt is like the, like like. That's when you like metal. Yeah, you melt metal. Smel smelt. Yeah, all right. Well, we're not talking about that. We're talking about the beer. <laughs> Get okay. back with the beer, son. You brought it up. <laughs> you smelled. You, sm you smelled it. What it smell smell like? It, smell, it, it does like dessert. Beer seems. It seems like a good description, but I, I really liked it. Right. Is it frustrating to only be able to smell beer? Yeah, it is. And not be able to drink it. It's very frustrating. That's, I'm sorry. Well, you swirl it around and spit it out. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a minute. Why would it, that's illegal. Honey, you want to get thrown in prison? No, that's, that's illegal. Oh, is that? I'm sorry. That's aiding and abetting. <laughs> we don't do that here. I'm sorry. He only gets to My smell bad. it. My bad. He only gets to smell it. That's like an Obama thing. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, no, that was a Clinton thing. <laughs> like, don't inhale? Don't inhale. Okay. Yeah, you just swirl it around a little bit and spit it out, right? The, the pot. The, the kids the, are like, what? The marijuana. <laughs> so when, when Clinton was running for president, it came out that he smoked pot. And I he's thought, like... Well, but I didn't inhale. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like kind of so like, like that was like a meme before memes so, were a thing? Was that kind of like uh, I never had I never had sexual relations with that woman? Something like yeah. So oh, we're not we're, we're getting off topic here. <laughs> yeah, this is what happens when you drink Tia Rodriguez beer. Okay, what did Puff Lump think? Did you like that beer? Did he smell it or did he drink any or no? No comment. All right, well, I think that uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you real quick how to order this beer. You can just order the beer, sit around with your family, and wait for COVID to go away, <laughs> and sit here, and, uh, and try all of Rodney's beers. So let's, like, how do we, let's find out how to order this right now. Okay, now I'm gonna show you all the technicalities of how to do it, all right? So what you wanna do first is go to slowbrew.com, and then, um, you're gonna look at all these fantastic photographs that change that look way nicer than my website. <laughs> and uh, I must have had some unprofessional do it. I did my own website. Oh, look at all the beer. Look at, look at all that beer. All right, you can order that beer. Now, the way you order it is you go here, order online. Every page has order online. And uh, he also has places to stay down there at the lofts. Super cool if you want to go on a vacation down there. There's only 18 COVID cases right now in slow, and it's April 17th. That's how pristine he is down there. But we're gonna go here, and then uh, whatever. You'll find, you'll figure it out. But you order your beer. The most important thing to know, I don't know if Rodney wants you to know this or not, but um, he sent me an email, <laughs> and it said, that uh, friends and family discount. Let's look for Rodney here. This is Rodney, uh, yeah, there he is, right here. Rodney. Uh, Rodney's a really good surfer, by the way. Uh, friends and family special discount right here. 
And um, it's... To be exact, it is uh, here, right here. Look, friends and family, 10% off. And I believe, Carson, help me out here, where'd it go? Okay, I, it's friends 10, right? Yeah, it's friends 10. Friends 10. When you go to check out, get friends 10, and then you'll feel like you're buddies with Rodney, and, uh, oops, sorry, and then you'll be able to order all this beer, and, uh, and that's it. You excited? Maybe you can actually get a job with Rodney at a brewery someday, huh? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Or, or at the very least, we're going to go out and serve with them. Oh, yeah, definitely. All right. Sign off, Carson. Think of something really fantastic to say to Rodney. <laughs> thanks for the beer. Yeah, thanks for the beer. All right. See ya, Uncle Rodney, Tio Rodrigo. See ya. <laughs> Tio Rodrigo. Tio Rodrigo. Um, Carson didn't have a good ending. Buffalo, can you make a good ending? Muffle up. Muffle up. Are you there?